In the first video of national income we have learned that we can calculate GDP at any of these three points A, B and C and at all the points the GDP is going to be same. If you calculate at point A that is your value added method. If you calculate all the spending in an economy that is going to be your expenditure method and if you calculate all the income that is going to be your income method. So in this video, we are going to calculate GDP by income method, okay? And when we are calculating GDP, GDP by income method, we are supposed to add all the factor payment received by the factor services, land, labor, capital, and entrepreneur. Income received from factor services. This is going to be the income received by household, and this is also going to be the income of the firm. Okay, because what the firm is earning here as a revenue, the firm is paying it to the household as the factor payment. So this is going to be the income of household and the income of firm, the total income by adding and we are going to calculate that by adding all the factor payment. Okay, so the factor services which were offered to the firms were land, labor, capital and entrepreneurship. What is the remuneration received for land? Rent and royalty. Rent is the fixed amount, fixed amount that is paid to the landlord. Okay, the fixed amount that is paid by the firms here in case in, in this case by the firms to the household. And royalty is the amount received for granting the rights of subsoil assets. For example, in the case of mining or in the case of fishing or in the case of extraction of oil okay the amount which is received for granting the rights on subsoil assets that amount is called royalty rent is mostly a fixed amount but royalty is sometimes a percentage of profit okay so land the payment the remuneration for land is rent and royalty now the remuneration for labors what do the labors get labors get wages salaries they sometimes get bonus they get free facilities in the form of housing or in the form of uh, payment for their um, petrol or payment of their mobile bills okay and sometimes empl and employers also contribute to social security schemes like pf part of contribution is made by the labor and part of contribution is also made by the employer so employers contributions to social security scheme that is also a sort of remuneration which the laborers get so all of this to together is called compensation of employees when the money is given by the creditors to the firms in return as as a remuneration the firms have to pay the interest to the creditors and net interest is nothing but interest received minus interest paid okay then entrepreneur he gets the profit as a remuneration now this profit can also be subdivided into three parts corporate tax corporate tax or dividend or retained earnings okay in your question it can be given in your question you can be given profit directly or you can also be given these three um, elements so the this three if these three are given you need to add these three and that is going to give you the profit and mixed income is nothing but combined income for more than one factors suppose a doctor has his own clinic okay so he is getting the income from his land his building his service that he is providing right he is himself the labor he is the entrepreneur so that is going to be a mixed earning that is going to be a mixed earning and that is why it is classified under the heading mixed income so when you are going to add all these five points you are going to get ndpfc you would do it ndpfc ndpfc is compensation of employees the remuneration which is received by the labor compensation of employees plus rent and royalty plus interest plus profit 
plus mixed income. This is going to give you NDPFC. And from NDPFC, you can calculate NNPMP. In this question, we are supposed to calculate net national income from the following. Net national income means what are we supposed to calculate? NNPFC. Okay. We are given wages and salaries, rent, interest, social security contribution, net factor income paid abroad and profit. Our first step is to calculate NDPFC. NDPFC. NDPFC is compensation of employees plus rent or royalty plus interest plus profit plus mixed income. What are we given here? Compensation of employees, we have wages and salaries 600 and we also have social security contribution by employers. Okay, this also comes in compensation of employees. Rent, we have 200, interest 300, profit 300. Okay, cannot be easier than this. Okay. Mixed income is not given. So this is going to be how much? 1500. Rupees 1500 lakhs. You should always, uh, just in, if you have enough time or even if you don't have, you should always try that you should not, that you don't forget um, writing the units in your exam. Okay. And from NDPFC, we will calculate an NPFC easily. An NPFC will be NDPFC. We have to move from DP to NP, from domestic product to national product. So we will add net factor income from abroad. NDPFC is 1500. Net factor income from abroad. This you need to see carefully what is given to you in the question. Net factor income paid to abroad. If it is given paid to abroad, you have to subtract this because this is what you are paying and this is and not what you are receiving. Okay. Net factor income paid to abroad is subtracted and net factor income from abroad is added. Okay. So this is going to be 1450 rupees 1450 lakhs.